What is up guys, Patriots here, and today I'm bringing you some more Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. This is a Domination on Dome. I join a few seconds into the game, not too bad. And I'm using the ACR Silenced with, uh, I don't know. I don't know what my perks are. Uh, what I do know is I'm running Specialist, which is Assassin, then Quick Draw, then Scavenger. So uh, I definitely have Hardline on, and I think I might have Steady Aim, and probably Sleight of Hand, I would assume. I don't know. I really don't know. But, uh... This game, I wasn't really going for Moab, and I don't get one. I come close, but, you know, the way I got the, the kills leading up to what would have been a Moab, I, I, think I, I think I earned a Moab, because it was, it was a struggle, it was difficult, and it was a pain, and that is that. I don't really go for them in particular, like, there's been, I think, three times now where... I've gone on a pretty good streak and realized, ooh, I could get it, let me try for it now. But I don't, you know, ever go into a game and, like, get into Moab now. Like, I don't, they're not, you know, I'm not going to say they're not impressive or whatever. But it's not like people haven't got 7 million of them already, so I just, I don't worry about it. It's not a concern of mine. It's not something I want to do, necessarily. It's just something if I see, you know, ooh, I got 12, 15, maybe straight kills here like you know I'm, I'm pretty close let me let me try for this and you know I was lucky I lived as long as I did in this game to be honest because I was just not in a good situation at all uh, you'll see what I mean <laughs> and I will try to point it out when we get there but uh, I could have played the objective a little bit stronger this game uh, I don't but we had it pretty much locked down and we get the win so you know that's all that counts right yeah, if I want to go shoot some people, I can shoot some people, right? But uh, today, I want to talk about competitive play for Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 3, and what that combination of things means. Um, you know, there's no current LAN support for MW3. Yes, I know, don't tell me it doesn't say LAN, but it doesn't function properly, and it doesn't work properly, and it does, so basically... The game does not support LAN, and COD 4 did not support proper LAN. Neither did Modern Warfare 2 or World at War. The only one so far that has supported proper LAN has been Black Ops, and that was mainly because David Vandahar was very interested in pleasing the competitive community and did a lot of work to make them happy, and one of their requests was a proper LAN system, and uh, he made that happen. Now, uh, I understand that Treyarch and Infinity Ward don't share code, which is probably why it wasn't, you know, just implemented right into Modern Warfare 3. Because I assume if they shared code, I mean, IW wouldn't be like, no, we don't want your LAN support. <laughs> but uh, I also don't think that IW felt it was necessary to take the time out of their day to develop proper LAN support. I think that they thought, you know, it's not that important. Which... Probably, if you're a big company looking at the money situation, it's not that important. However, you know, there are some of us who would appreciate a proper LAN system. Now, you know, I would love if Treyarch could just be like a knock-knock in Infinity Ward. Uh, here's the code that makes that happen. Here you go. Because I really want to see Modern Warfare 3 supported. Um, because it will not be played uh, on the MLG circuit if there is no LAN support because they would have no way of doing it because it would be a pain in the ass. Uh, the only way they would probably do it is uh, they would do PCLs and that would be that but you know competitive card nonetheless however you know I, I do appreciate it being at LAN events and I would appreciate it if it was there. Uh, they'd obviously probably do LAN for the Nationals but you know I would really, 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 really appreciate if it was, you know, there all year, not just once. Because I do enjoy watching Competitive Card, and if they come in my area again, I would be there. But, uh, I won't be there if Call of Duty isn't there, because, to be honest, I can't be bothered to watch Halo too much. Like, I do, I did pop over there every once in a while to check out what they were doing, and I watched Instinct, because, uh, Eon always. Um, if you don't know what Eon is, too bad. <laughs> um, and I don't really watch StarCraft 2 because I don't understand. I'm trying to learn, so maybe I would pop over for StarCraft 2 if I was there. But, again, COD first. Everything else second. Uh, Eon, always. But uh, another thing I would like to see supported for competitive play 
um, in relation to MW3 is I would love to see the competitive playlist return uh, to this game. Now, once again, it's probably just a matter of coding and uh, them not feeling like it, I guess. And here's here's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about bad situations. Like, I got this pistol, I got no ammo, I'm in no position to run over there and grab a scavenger pack. I'm gonna hold down over here, I was like, oh, I could go that way, no, bad, bad, bad. And it's, <laughs> it's amazing that I survive as long as I do doing this, because these players are pretty horrible, because there is no reason that I am still alive right now. I don't know why that guy did that, and I survive a grenade because grenades stink, and I'm going to truck over here, and this is this is the end of me, you know. I set up here, I'm like, okay, we're, we're good, we're good, we got this. Oh, oh that, that guy, get him, get him, get him. And then, see another guy over here, and I don't know, no bullets registered, and I died, so... It was very unfortunate. I could have probably got it if I had an assault rifle right there. I would have been able to lock down that spawn, but I didn't get it. Um, but back to the competitive playlist thing. Uh, I keep going back to Black Ops to play it because I really like this competitive style of Call of Duty. I don't particular. I like I, I like pubs. I'll play them and normal. Oh, well, I guess competitive playlist is pubs, but normal public style. You know, I I'll play it, but I really like the competitive style of Call of Duty. You know, I like the no kill streaks, I like the different settings the clocks are set to, you know, the banned perks, the, you know, banned attachments. I like all that stuff because I think that it is a more balanced competitive way of playing Call of Duty. I know, sounds crazy, but it is a better way, in my opinion, to play the game. And I really do enjoy doing that. And if a new order didn't bring it back, but uh, another thing that kind of bothers me about them not bringing that back is I understand the code thing but did you see their bare bones playlist it is just no kill streaks which they had in MW2 and when we told them during MW2 bare bones people meant no attachments no perks no kill streaks which they now have the tools to do but they didn't do it so it's kind of like laziness on their part and obviously, you know, I, it could be, you know, added later because the competitive playlist didn't ship with Black Ops. But, you know, Vaughn went through a lot of <laughs> a lot of hardship to get that to us because the code to ban specific parks and attachments did not exist. Um, and, you know, maybe February, he was like, oh, <laughs> you want that? Okay, yeah, I'll do that. And he actually wrote the code so that playlist could work. And I really appreciate everything he's done for competitive Call of Duty, which is why I'm really looking forward to Black Ops 2, or whatever they call it, because he has said, you know, I really enjoyed watching the competitive community surround Black Ops, and I've learned some things, you know, things that they did wrong, um, or things that they could do to help competitive COD, and uh, I, I fully expect Black Ops 2 to ship with LAN support, competitive playlists, and I expect you know, I'm hoping that what he means by learn is actual support for their game types. Because, you know, he did his best with what he had to work with. Because, I mean, he wrote all that code for us to get rid of the perks and uh, the attachments we didn't want in there. And I really appreciate that. And I understand it would have been a pain to recode game types. But I hope that he has an MLG style capture the flag where you play the both sides but the flag caps from each side add together instead of like you won one round and you won another round because the way it works currently if you don't know is if you win one side 4-1 and the other side you lose 1-0 it says that you guys tied like 1-1 and you go to an overtime round however in MLG that would come out to 4-2 and you'd win still, even if you had a bad second half. So I hope he means he's going to support that. And technically in Domination and MLG, you play one side, switch sides, play the other side, and then add the scores together. And uh, I wouldn't mind if they didn't support that, only because that would take forever and be a pain. But, you know, it would be nice just to see it because, you know, that would be really supporting competitive play. And obviously things can change for next year for... Or, MLG or two years from now for MLG the rule set and I hope that you know Vaughn's on board to support it and I hope that Infinity Ward gets on board and supports it because there's a lot of things that they left out from uh, Modern Warfare 3 that Treyarch did 
that I would have liked to see return, and I would really like to see them support competitive play. That's that's it. You know, land support is a must first and foremost, and I don't think that one is overly difficult to figure out. Um, the competitive playlist, again, I kind of, you know, I really want it. It's not a must, but it's quite easy. You have the tools. They're right there in the private match thing. Just put them in a playlist and stick them in the game. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, also, Vaughn, what he did was made the maps. Um, only certain maps showed up in the, you know, the competitive maps on their competitive game types. You know, what game types were played in each map showed up in that playlist, which is really crucial. And I really appreciate everything Treyarch did, and I hope Infinity Ward can, uh, you know, after they figure out the lag stuff and all, the spawn systems can get on that. Land support, please. Competitive playlist, I really would appreciate. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you all later.